Alrighty. So what's the hook you're using? That is a Dairiki 899 size 6. Laying down a thread base here. What thread are you using? Just a Danville 6 uh, okay. white. Stop right about the point. You know, what are you tying here? It's called the Buck Creek. This is a cross between the Blue Boy. So by your hook. Okay. Yeah. It's a cross between a Blue Boy and a steelhead spay fly that I had, had uh, seen on the internet. And that, well, I don't know if you can see it there. It's yep. right there. And that caught that fish on its maiden maiden voyage. Awesome. About a three pound fish. So it could have been in your rod. Quite a, quite a, quite pleased with it. It actually hit this guy twice. That fish there. Uh huh. Hit that fly there. Interesting. And that's another one. I call that the Foxtober. Uh, just kind of put it together with some materials I had. Mm -hmm. And that one fish. Hit three times before it hit that one, and I sharpened the hook on it. Finally caught the fish. So I'm gonna tie in a tag, and it is just Danville Mylar. There you go. Okay. And that's a size 16, 18. I tie it in with the uh, gold side up. So I'm going to use the silver side. Tie it back with as smooth of wraps as I can get. I go back almost to the bent, uh, to the barb of the hook. And that'll usually give me about five to six wraps of this mylar mm -hmm. head back up. Just take one wrap over the hook and then I start going up the thread wraps. Trying to keep touching. Did you keep count? Nope. But the camera's got it. Good, because I, I lost count. <laughs> Okay, I don't think the fish know how to count anyways. Yeah. So then I just, to get a smooth underbody, it's kind of overkill, but you'll know why a little bit later, uh -huh. why I'm doing touching turns all the way up to where the return loop goes. One, I'm trying to build up a body. Two, I'm trying to build up a smooth body. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to have a floss body afterwards. A lot of people won't spend this kind of time doing this. This part's kind of like watching you spin the hair on. Yeah, like watching paint dry. <laughs> but it's necessary evil. Yeah. I like watching you spin hair. 
back some of those patterns that have deer hair on them. Mm -hmm. Tried to emulate some of your style. Cool. Glad to hear that. Uh, yeah. Not the best best at it. That's perfect. Are you kidding me? See, I can't do those because I put way too much hair on. I thought that's actually one big bundle. Yeah. And then I put a sm another small bundle on. You probably didn't even need to do that because and you want these to sink, right? Well, that that'll that that should sink. Yeah, it should. It, it isn't too I, mean, I, gonna, I would overpack it. That's my. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grease this or anything. This is what else guys are talking about. His muddler here. Um, that right there though. Is that yeah. the silver, the uh, gold muddler? Silver. Yeah, that's the rolled muddler. Okay. And that's just one. One clump of hair. Yeah. That's all you need. Just yeah. something so it, so that it pushes the water, right? So that should be good. Now that I've got that tied in. I'm taking red tippet feather for the tail, so I'm going to wrap all the way back down again. You have more deer in your yard. And I'm going to grab a few fibers of this tippet feather. Mm -hmm the bottom, create a V, then I'm going to cut it right where that is. How many other clubs? Grab these feathers, get the black tips touching the black tips and trying to fold it at the same time. So, got it like so, I'm trying to fold it and match up the black tips. Gotcha, okay. Best way is just to grab the black tips, kind of give it a little roll on your finger. And I like to get the two bands in there, so I'm just going to go just past that band, tie it in on top. And again, I want a smooth body, so I'm going to wrap all this back up. Again, I'm trying to build up the body and also create a smooth underbody. Guys that tie the Atlantic salmon flies, they do this all the time. Yep. And I've tied a body for an uh, Atlantic salmon fly. Couldn't get the wings to work so I made it a hair wing. But that was two hours just on the body alone. I can relate to that. I had, I had time to kill. Sat on the back porch and drank a cold one. <laughs> Tied a fly in the shade. That's nice time there. Yeah. Alrighty. Still got it? Yeah. Now I'm going to tie in some medium silver. Okay. And you can use Lagerton. Uh, there's Phoebus out there. Is that round? That's an oval. Oval, oh, okay. Yeah, this one's an extra strong medium. So I'll tie it up. Attach that. I'll tie it down on the far side of me, near side for what you're okay. seeing. I'll tie it down the side. And again, Still touching turns all the way down. Because again, I'm still building up the body and building up a, a smooth underbody. And while I'm tying this, I'm still thinking about the underbody, uh, trying to get possibly a little taper if I can. Counter spinning the bobbin now so I can flatten the thread as I work it back up here. This is going to be my final underbody. So this is where, this is the money, these are the money wraps, so to speak. Uh -huh.
Now I know why Rock, Rocky Hammond wears uh, those magnifiers. Mm -hmm. If you do this, you'll actually learn thread control. Yep. The next material is the uh, body material. It's a fluorescent blue. Fluorescent blue Danville. I want to say it's a number 501 or a 507. Okay. So, and it's a, a four strand nylon. I'm going to take off about an 18 inch piece. And then when I go to tie it in, I'm actually only going to use three strands. Usually this will see it kind of pulls yeah, apart. Separates for you. They're yep. easy. Yeah, look at that. So I just grab that one strand, put it off to the side. I do three or four of these flies. By the time I get to the fourth fly, I've got my other three. And I'll just loop it around the thread, tie it in on near side. And I'll just two or three thread wraps back up. And then wrap the body down and back. How you doing? Good morning. I get to the back side here, I'm really tightening it down. Floss has a tendency to slip. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna build a nice body. Going back. Try to keep the three strands together if you can too, because they have a tendency to want to walk away from each other. Mm -hmm. Go a little bit past return eye. Kind of a judgment call. How you doing? Good. Maybe a hand out there. At this point, you can burnish it if you'd like, mm -hmm. or you can leave it as is. I'm fishing them. Depends on how I feel. Take the first wrap and really kind of give it some good pressure. Yeah, I can tell you torqued it down there. Yeah, because it will it will slip. And usually five to six wraps. This little area right here, I'm still thinking about, I've got more materials to tie in, so I gotta think about straight underbody for it. Otherwise, when you go to tie in materials, they'll wanna migrate towards the hook. Uh -huh. All right. so, that in. You pull the tinsel off of it, you can get a little bit flatter 
area. So there's our body. Next thing I'm going to tie in is the throat. It's an orange throat. It's just a orange dyed hen. I got some of those. Yep. Got these from Henry Hoffman. Yep. Best Throw stuff there on. is for steelhead flies. Just pull you off a feather. Like so. Just pull you off a feather. And you can pretty much get rid of all the all the junk off the end here. Fluff. So it looks like so. And then what I'm gonna do I've got an even amount. I'll pull down something like so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tie in the lower part here. That's going to be the throat. So I'm going to take and snip that off. Like so. so I wound up with that. And then I go like so. You've got a rotary vise or a vise that uh, rotates. I'm going to tie this in on the bottom. About three wraps. Not very tight. So now I'm going to pull this forward. And I want it. About two thirds of that body length. Spread it out with the thumbnail a little bit. Just tighten it in tighter. Got something like so. A brave man. That's that? I don't cut towards my thread like that, man. Oh, I, I'm about to go poop. I've done that a few times. Yeah. So I just kind of get it to do like so. Now I'm going to tie in an underwing. I'm trying to keep that as flat as I can for later steps. But I'm using crystal flash. I've got that. Yep. Okay. A little pink crystal flash. And I've already got some from the last fly I did. About four strands. And a flush. I'm going to tie this in just about to the end of the body. A couple wraps. Pulled it over. A couple more wraps. See how it looks. Just trim it off. So my next step, again, I'm going to build this up a little bit. So it doesn't slope. Tying the collar. This is Whiting American Rooster Tape. It's a dyed silver Dr. Blue. I'll grab a feather somewhere right around that range. Pull off one feather. Then just start stroking the fe the fibers back so that they kind of stand out in the stem. I get to a point where I like the feather, like the length. No, when you the say the, the length, you say the, uh, the, the fiber, the oh, fiber. Okay, length. the actual fiber length. Okay. Yeah, I kind of kind of know where it's going to be at. What are you looking feather. for though? About halfway up. Up to the, the point. Flash? Up to the point. Okay. Up to the point. All right. So I'll pull it down like so, mm -hmm. and I'll snip it off so that there's a little bit of triangle. Yeah, 
from down the edges like so, mm -hmm. those barbs will help hold that in there. Yep. Build this up a little bit so I get a few more turns. Tight air on the near side. Touching turns. Down. Again, I'm going to try to wrap this about three to four times. Okay. Scissor full days. <laughs> I tied this in with the good side facing me. Some hacker fibers like to twist, so you've got to finger fold and try to control it. Okay. Best you can. So you get that first wrap in. And take about three or four wraps touching. Hey, Doug, have yourself a flyer there. Tying a buck pattern I call a buck creek. And really? Use it for C run cutthroat. And cutthroat, but it looks like it do steelhead too. I would probably guess it would. I tied it in the. Uh, that, that's the prototype there. There's a picture of it on the back, back second page of that flyer. And I tied it as a prototype, and it got this cutthroat. And it was about almost three pounds. You got was the it. reverse spiders. That's yeah. reverse spiders. Those are interesting to tie. Yeah. I'm going to get everybody else on the river looking and go, what the heck? <laughs> so anyways, I'm taking three or four turns here. I'm going to tie it off. I don't like that last wrap. It slipped. So I'm going to make that control better. There we go. Tie it off with two or three. Draw everything back. Again, I'm Preparing the next setup, which is my wing. So I'm building it up before I tie off this feather. Try to catch that tip. At this point, you can actually cut the stem. As as possible. that point. Next thing is I'm going to use calf tail for the wing, the, the outer wing. Mm -hmm. Cut off a hunk about like so. Then I'm going to process it and just pull out any stray fibers, any short fibers, under fur. I look for any real kinky fibers that are sitting out to the side. And then I'm going to stack it. Calf tail doesn't stack that well, so do the best you can. Stray fiber to just pull them out of there. Now I'm gonna grab the really long fibers, get rid of them. Yeah, that looks about right. A real heavy wing. And I'm going to tie just a bit past 
the crystal flash, and about half the tail length. Down, make sure everything's up on top. Whatever works, right? Whatever so. works. <laughs> Turn those as close as you can. The thread. Now I'm going to build a nice tapered thread head. <laughs> <laughs> that point there and then I'm going to grab fluorescent red looks like hot pink but it's fluorescent red Danville okay. 6 hot. Um, I don't remember the number on that one but I use that for the final step on this over the top of this white red And like the body, I'm going to use it like a floss. Tying the white thread in as I tie in the tag into the red thread. Come off your ends. Wrap it back down. Now I'm going to whip finish it back up. And four to five. Oh, okay. How's everything going? Well, it's going on good now. How'd you got here? Well, I had an emergency. Oh. Cook breakfast and then you throw pain, but I thought I'd check that, but I guess I didn't. Final thing is to put some head seam in on it. So about half an hour. See how that goes. And when you got the white thread underneath, it really makes the red of this fluorescent thread pop. There you have it. It's a nice looking fly, buddy. The Buck Creek. Very nice.